Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All right, in today's video, um, I just want to make a video on this uh, recent uh, red that was sent to me over on Facebook. Um, this, probably many of you have already read this, but I know there are still people out there who haven't, so I think I need to make a video and talk about our fellow, uh, our fellow polyglot, uh, Professor Argelius. Now, I wouldn't have never seen this if it weren't for my friend Lada Kronobori. I think that's her name. Yeah, Lada Kronobori from Croatia. Uh, I wouldn't have seen this if it weren't for her. She shared it with me yesterday. So, um, yeah, Alexander Argelius, uh, as many of you know, he's a, he's a professor. Um, well, he was a professor over in, um, I, can't, I think it was Iran. Uh, he was over there for a while teaching in a university. And now he's currently he's currently living in uh, Singapore and um, he's a big language enthusiast. Um, you guys have seen his one of his famous videos, the polyglot. Um, what was it called? Uh, he basically he basically went through what he does, when, you know, when studying his, his languages. I'll post a link to that video so you guys can see it. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about Professor Argelius because he uh, he's one of the he's one of the reasons why. Um, I, I honestly have to say he's one. He's one of the reasons that you know. Uh, that, oh, not this again. Okay, he's one of the reasons that kept me um, going in, in the in, you know in the YouTube community you know, as far as making language videos and you know all that good stuff. And the reason I say that is because when I first started making videos, um, I didn't really know anyone in the community who studied languages as much as I did. I mean, studying a lot of languages. And um, he was the first person I, I, I came across because when I first put my videos up, um, I saw on the right, you know, when you put your videos up, you can see other related videos. I saw his videos where he was introducing like books and his techniques to shadowing and whatnot. And I was just curious. And, uh, you know, I clicked on it and um, I went through them. And I was very, very impressed because I, I, I learned that he he studies like, you know, a whole bunch of languages, Korean, Arabic, Farsi, uh, Latin, all these languages. And, you know, it was very, very impressive to me because he's a fellow. He's a he's a fellow American. And as you guys know, we have this stereotype here that um, or around the world that Americans don't learn languages. I mean, it, a lot of us fit the fit the stereotype. But, you know, Americans aren't you know, are not known for learning other languages. So, um, you know, considering that I live in America and many people call me crazy and always told me that I need to focus on one language <clears throat> and I don't need those other languages. This is what made me so surprised to see another American studying multiple languages and, you know, and enjoying it and not doing it for a job, doing it for you know, strictly, you know, for passion. So um, I, I watched I watched several of his videos and, um, you know, I was like, wow, I have to uh, subscribe to this guy. This guy is amazing. Now, I didn't send him any messages because at the time I was I was still getting used to YouTube. I just subscribed to his um, to his channel. And um, I think it was like a day or two later. This is a big surprise to me. It was a day or two later. He came over to my channel and um I guess he saw several of my videos and he commented on my on my front page. And I wish I could show you guys. I, mean, I would have to go through the archives. But he left a long message on my front page, uh, you know, um, congratulating me on my language study. And he was encouraging me to keep it up and stuff. He, he admired what I was doing. So I didn't know what to say. And, um, you know, because it was that he made that post on my front page. Then he made another he sent me a mess, a private message, and he, you know, he um, he told me that. Well, he invited me to a language forum uh, called How to Learn Any Language, and at the time, I wasn't really interested because I was already a, um, I was already a member of several forums, so I was like, you know, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, maybe later on in the future I'll join the website. I was just so in awe and shocked because he sent me this message, so. Um, I was like, wow, I can't believe it. So I, I think it, it took me like a day or two to go to actually go over to the to the website to see, you know, to just to check it out. 
And then when I went over there, I saw a thread made under my name. And uh, I, it was just crazy because I saw the views on it. And there were like 12,000 views and, and a whole bunch of discussion. So I clicked on it and, you know, I, I just went through all the comments and stuff. And uh, I was just amazed. And I, I decided to join, but I didn't I didn't um, post anything until like maybe a week later or something like that. I just didn't know what to say. So, uh, yeah, like I said, that was he, you know, I probably wouldn't have been, you know, I probably wouldn't be well known in this community and, you know, the language community if it weren't for him, because that was a big plug in there over on the uh, how to learn the language site that brought a lot of traffic to my page. So it was very encouraging. And, um, like I said, he, he's, you know, because of him, like my channel stayed strong for a long time. Another thing um, I had, you know, I was very honored. I got the opportunity to actually meet with Professor Argelius on Skype several times. And the first time the first time we met, I think it was this one. I met Michael er Erard, too. It was me, him, Michael Erard on Skype. And we were just talking about languages. And um, he, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there I, I noticed that there are people in the community saying well i've never seen him speak any languages um you know i saw him speak dutch and you know i don't know about his other languages i mean it's understandable people are curious because you know we have a lot of um frauds out here people who are claiming to speak certain languages and you know they they you, you don't see him speaking languages and um you, you can't help but to be curious and be suspicious of these people but i can honestly say that professor Ar arguels uh for sure uh arabic was it Arabic, Russian? It was it Arabic, Russian, and Korean? He started speaking to me. First, he started speaking to me in Arabic, you know, and um, it was, yeah, his Arabic is really, really good. We, we, you know, we had a little short conversation in Arabic, and then he switched over to, um, oh, what is that? Oh, then he switched over to, uh, what was it, Korean, and then he switched over to Russian, and um, he's really good in those languages. And you guys already seen him speak Dutch, and his Dutch is really good. So um, when he when he said he can speak some languages, he he's not lying. And you know, I can witness. I'll vouch for him because, like I said, I've heard him speak Korean, Arabic, and Russian, and um, I have experience in those languages. And he's he's definitely really good. And his Korean, I, I would say, definitely is native. And I mean, he sound native to me in all three of the languages. So. Um, I just want to put that out there. And I, I was the first, he was the first person in the community, the first, the first polyglot in this community, um, I've met and, um, he's very humble too. Very, very humble guy. And then, you know, there are many polyglots in the community, but you know, out of everyone, I think this guy here is probably the most humble. I mean, he just, that's just, you know, that's just, that's the way he is. So, yeah, I just want to, um, make this uh video and talk about our friend professor argelius um he's a very nice guy and um he's 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 very busy so if you try to send him messages he probably won't be able to get back to you you know uh, right away but um you guys should check out this article it's, it's very interesting um he just basically talks about his experience his experience is learning foreign languages and whatnot so um yeah, that's pretty much it, Professor Argelius. Um, yeah, and again, thanks to my friend Labda for sharing this with me. I wouldn't have never seen it if it weren't for her. So, um, yeah, thanks for viewing, and um, let me know what you guys think. Oh, by the way, before I stop, um, I'm going to post the links to, uh, like I said, to his... Um, I already have his channel on my front page you can, where you can see it. I have this. I have the, I have the link to his, his uh, channel. I also will put a link up to his um, to the video, the, the uh, polyglot video where he went through his daily training. And I'm also going to put the link to the form, that, the form which he made about me um, back in 2008. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for viewing, and I look forward to any comments.